In this problem, we're told a diver can reduce her moment of inertia by a factor of 3.5 when changing from the straight position to the tuck position. If she makes two rotations in 1.5 seconds when in the tuck position, what is her angular speed revolutions per second when in the straight position? So in order to solve this problem, we're going to use the conservation, uh, the law of conservation of angular uh, momentum, which is basically tells us that uh, angular momentum one is equal to angular momentum two. So the initial is equal to the final essentially. Right, and we know angular momentum is equal to rotational inertia multiplied by angular velocity or omega. Right, so we could say uh, I1 times omega1 is equal to I2 times omega2. So the inertia 1 times the angular velocity 1 is equal to the inertia uh, 2 times angular velocity 2, right? But we have to solve for each of these variables, so let's actually just write down what we're given. So they tell us it's going to reduce her moment of inertia by a factor of 3.5 when changing from the straight position to the tuck position. So when they tell you it's going to change by a factor of 3.5, how I interpret that is saying inertia 2 over inertia 1, right? The final is going to be 3.5 times greater, right? So 2 is going to be 3.5 times greater. So we could just say it equals 3.5. This is generally how I approach it, right? So you just want to say the 2 over the 1 is 3.5. You could do it the other way, right? If you had 1 on top, it would be 1 over 3 over 5 or 3.5. But yeah, essentially, right, because we know this is just going to be 3.5 times greater than this one, right? Because if you multiply both sides by I1, you could just see that, right? This is going to be 3.5 times greater than this. But yeah, hopefully you understand that. So I like writing it like this, though, because you'll see why in a second. But uh, So I sub 2 over I sub 1 is equal to 3.5. And then what I'm going to say is that w sub 1 or the angular velocity 1 is we're going to say that's when she's in the straight position so we're going to say uh when she's in the straight position this is going to be what's their uh speed right it's going to be two revolutions for every 1.5 seconds right so this is going to be their angular velocity uh when they're in the straight or when they're in the tuck position sorry so this is when they're in the tuck position so now we've got these laid out, these variables. What we're going to be doing is solving for W sub 2, which is the straight position. So we want to solve this for W sub 2, or omega 2, right? Sorry. Omega 2, so we can just divide both sides by inertia 2, right? So that would cancel out this side, and then you'll just get I sub 1 over I sub 2 multiplied by angular velocity 1. And so what you should notice here is that we have I sub 2 over I sub 1 is 3.5. But this is just the inverse of it. So it's really just 1 over 3 over 5, right? So uh, omega 2 is going to be equal to 1 over 3 over 5, right? Just the inverse of this thing up top, right? Because it's flipped. And then omega 1, or angular velocity 1, we know is 2 revolutions for every 1.5 seconds. 2 revolutions for every 1.5 seconds. Right? And so what we can do here is just solve. So if you go ahead and do this, 2 divided by 1.5 and then divided by 3.5 or multiply by 1 over 3.5, you're going to get 0.38. And then our units are just revolutions per second. So revolutions per second. So yeah, 0.38 revolutions per second. Uh, this is going to be when they're in the straight position. So 0.38 revolutions per second. But yeah, so this right here is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.